think to yourself, I want that 1950s feel where I can like walk to the candy store or walk to the movies, but I don't want it to be in 1950 because, hey, we're not in 1950 anymore. I want it to be really close to somewhere cool like Asheville, North Carolina, where I can hop in a car and be at a trendy restaurant in just a few minutes or a live music event or whatever. You know what? This place exists and it's called Biltmore Park and it's only 20 minutes south of Asheville. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler and we are Living in Asheville where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina and the surrounding mountain towns. It is my absolute passion and pleasure to help people move to the area and I have a whole team lined up to help you on your journey. So feel free to give us a sh shout out, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email and we'll be glad to start you on your journey. And if you want to learn more about what it's like to live in Asheville, North Carolina, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, and you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So where are we right now? We are in Biltmore Park, which is, as the crow flies, only nine miles from downtown Asheville. But driving wise takes about 20 minutes to get there. Now there's two main ways that you can get to Biltmore Park. There's I-26, which we have probably heard a little bit before about traffic and congestion sometimes, so you gotta time it right. Um, there's a lot of construction that's gone on forever on I-26. And there's also Hendersonville Road. So on Hendersonville Road, there's a lot more opportunity to stop at places like the Fresh Market or Whole Foods, or if you have a doctor's appointment or a nice restaurant along the way, there's a lot of amenities on Hendersonville Road. Um, but then I-26, even though it's a little farther driving, will probably take you about the same amount of time. So we're looking at South Asheville and there's also a lake really by, close by called Lake Julian. Not one you swim in, but you can do totally take a boat out on it and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and there's also the airport right down here. So if you have to commute for work or even just want to travel for pleasure, it's a hop, skip and a jump away from Biltmore Park. So Biltmore Park really started as one of these master plan communities. And typically in my head, I think, oh, that's not so exciting, but this one kind of is. It's pretty unique. So you have single family homes with small lots. You have single family homes with large lots. You have condos all around, which you can see in the background. You have office buildings. You have businesses, you have lenders, you have um, tons of shopping, like Loft and REI and Orvis and Fleet Feet and all these different things. You have restaurants, you have bookstores, um, you have a a coffee shops and dog boutiques and everything you can imagine. And all of the planned community is just a hop, skip and a jump the other way in mostly walkable um, areas so you can just walk to all these things including a movie theater it's absolutely fabulous and really is a throwback in time to um, community and neighborhoods and what made people come together so in the 90s when they were creating Biltmore Park in this concept it's a live work play environment so you can do all aspects of your life in one area without a long commute or wasting time in a car and they really did this well because there's all different types of affordability options here. Like I said, from multi-million dollar homes to condos and apartments. And there's lots of businesses in the area too. A lot of these buildings are built with sustainability in mind. So they have green aspects incorporated. And there's miles and miles of walking and hiking trails in the area too. Biltmore Park started as part of the Biltmore Company, which you may have heard of from the Biltmore Estate, which is the Vanderbilts. And there's other areas and subdivisions that are also with that Biltmore name, like Biltmore Lake and Biltmore Forest. But this one is a little bit different because of all the urban feel it has to it while still having that um, space and land and subdivision on one side of it. it I think originally was part of a dairy farm or something like that and they slowly converted it over with time. It's over 700 acres in total and there are over 580 homes 
and we will see that part later, but first we're going to explore the Biltmore Park Town Square, which is where all the restaurants are and the offices and buildings. So once you kind of walk down this little beautifully lined canopy of trees, you'll see that there are so many options of things for you to do, whether you want some ice cream or some pizza or read a good book or uh, maybe even go see a movie. Wow, you gotta look at this. Look at all these caramel covered apples. Pecan, 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 you guys say pecan in the South. Pecan pear, bear apple. This is like the chocolate factory. And I'm glad I, don't, I can't walk here because that would not be good news. And look at all this ice cream. It looks like marshmallows. Look back here. It looks like you could just curl up and go to sleep in that ice cream. Okay, I better get out of here. This is not good for my waistline. So at the end of the street, there's 131 Main, which is a higher end, um, really wonderful restaurant. I meet a lot of clients here for lunch. It backs right up to the movie theater, which makes it easy to go to dinner and a movie. And there's a lot of stuff playing. This is one of the theaters in Asheville that has the um, stadium seating, so it's kind of a big deal. And I'm probably the last person who hasn't seen Barbie so far. But yeah, here's the, here's the movie theater. Oh, they're hiring too. So if you're coming to Asheville and need a job, you know, hey, hey, we got you covered. Over here we have Leo's Italian Social. I have never been there, but I would be glad to go. And you know what's great about living so close to the Biltmore Park Town Square? If you have guests in town and you don't want to entertain them the whole time, they can entertain themselves. There's a Hilton right here across the street and they could stay there, they could go out to dinner as they wish, and they would be really, really close to you, but wouldn't necessarily have to stay in the same four walls as you or under the same roof, I guess is what I mean. A lot of the really popular um, restaurants in Asheville have a second location here in South Asheville, and this is one of those where there is a nine mile uh, location here. There's also a Luella's Barbecue in South Asheville too, because hey, let's not drive all the way to Asheville and we can have enough business to be here. Oh, the Wolfgang Bakery. This is a bakery for dogs. You can get dog treats here and all kinds of like little stylish um, tr trinkets and clothes for dogs and cakes. You can get cakes. Look at this happy birthday cake for your dog and it's a full grooming service as well. Right at your fingertips, right down the road. And another thing that I absolutely love, which is wonderful for me, for clients, for any kind of parties, is small cakes. And this really is a gourmet, tiny cupcake place. And you always know it's from small cakes because, because it comes in a pink box. Everything's pink, of course. Let's see if they have any cupcakes ready. Oh, they also have ice cream, dang it. So they have lemon drop and cookies and cream and all kinds of cake pops, cake and a popsicle. I'll take that. Oh, look, cupcake calories don't count. Yes. Okay, here's another one that's really funny. Once you lick the frosting off a cupcake, it becomes a muffin and muffins are healthy. You're welcome. I like it. Thank you. See, I was so good, I didn't even get one. Oh, and here's Luella's. So let's check out Luella's now. Let's see if we can sneak in, there's nobody in here, come here. It's in between times, we're in between lunch and dinner. But Luella's is really popular and has another location near Merriman Avenue or on Merriman Avenue in Asheville. My favorite thing is their Brunswick stew. They even have a Brunswick stew tray. That is my cup of tea right there. You can even get some cool swag. Luella's is where it's at. We got a lot of barbecue in Asheville, North Carolina, but one of my faves. Okay, so if you're thinking about how a morning could work for you, you could go to Clean Juice, get like a little smoothie. It's coming soon. It's 
just opening up. And then here we're pa pa passing Club Pilates. So you can go get a little Pilates workout with your friends and hang out and feel fit, strengthen your core. Um, and then come and get your gear. You're going out fishing for the weekend. You can come by Orvis or REI to get your tent. And then let's say you wanted to go for a swim. There's a couple different options because guess what's at the other end of the movie area? On the other end is the YMCA, which has a huge indoor pool. So one of the fun things about living in this neighborhood is that there is the Biltmore Park Swim Club. And we're not members, so, so it does say no trespassing, but um, <laughs> I just wanted to highlight it so that you can see what, it, what it's like here. Now, this is only available to members who live in Biltmore Park or residents that live in Biltmore Park. And there is an HOA that is associated with this area. And as of right now, we are uh, 2023, it is $660 a year. So not super extreme. Say your cup of tea is not spinning. Say your cup of tea is to play tennis. Now on Hendersonville Road, the racket club is right there. And there's pickleball and there's tennis and there's another pool. And I think it's a saltwater pool too. Um, but say tennis and pickleball are not your thing and spinning is not your thing and rock climbing is not your thing. Guess what? There is the Biltmore Country Club where golf is near Biltmore Forest, which is right down the road. So all your bases are covered. What else do you need in life? You have it all. <laughs> Right here. Okay, so where are you going to live? Let's go see some houses. Let's see some that are for sale. We're not going to go inside. We're going to stand outside because people don't want us inside their houses. But at least it'll give you an idea of what's available and the price range in Biltmore Park. Okay, so here we are on Heathbrook Circle. And this is a road that has some of the smaller profile homes on it. Now I've got my spectacles on because I'm going to look at my sheet and tell you the details about these houses. But a lot of them are on less than 0.2 acres. So there's not a lot of stretching out room, but they're all compact and easy to maintain and cute as a button. Let's go see one that is on the market. Okay, so here we have our first property. It comes in at just over 2,200 square feet. It has four bedrooms and two and a half baths. It was built in 1999, so it's not really old, but here's the, the clincher. It's on 0.17 acres. So there's not a lot of breathing room or stretching out room, which can be good for some people, and other people want more space, especially if you have animals or something like that. So this house right here comes in at $725,000 and is on the lower scale um, of affordability in Biltmore Park area. So let's go check out One Notch Higher. The next one we're going to visit is on Day Flower Drive. And this one was built in 2005. And it doesn't have a lot of land, almost like the last one, 0.16 acres. But guess what it has across the street? This little HOA maintained green space. So what's beautiful about this situation is you don't have to do anything. They mow it for you and you have a nice seating area or a place where you can play ball with the neighbors or just catch up and hang out. Um, so the home that we're going to look at is a little bit of a different style than the traditional Asheville arts and crafts um, normal style of homes that we see often here. It has three bedrooms and two baths, two and a half actually, and here it is. So it's a European farmhouse type of home. And this has, like I said, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,700 square feet, almost 2,800 square feet on 0.16 acres for 900,000. Beautiful, beautiful street with that green space in the center that you do not have to lift a finger to maintain. So here we are on Chicory Lane. This house was built in 1998, but has been completely redone since then. It's on 0.39 acres and has six bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. And guess the square footage on this one. It's huge. It is 5,600 square feet with the main floor having one bathroom and one bedroom and the upper having two and the basement having another two bedrooms. So this is absolutely massive. So you have an office and a workout room and a craft room. There's quick access to the trail system that they have at Biltmore Park. So that's wonderful. And it's really close to the pool and walkable everywhere. 
um, and really close to the high school as well. So quite an easy life filled with spaciousness and already redone. So turnkey, you can just move right in. This is on the higher end at 1.3 million. So to give you an idea of affordability in Biltmore Park, the median sales price as of July of 2023 is about $950,000. And guess how many days they stay on the market? 11 days. That's not a lot of time. So if you found something that you wanted in Biltmore Park, you'd have to kind of act quickly. It's also important to note what schools service the Biltmore Park area. There's quite a few. So um, it depends on kind of what you're looking for, but there are some private options like Carolina Day School, and that is located within the Biltmore Park uh, subdivision. And it offers anything from kindergarten up to 12th grade, and it's private an independent school that focuses on providing a strong educational foundation, along with extracurricular activities and character development. And then there's the Kuntz Intermediate School, which you can look into too. It is uh, education for grades five and six and Valley Springs Middle School, which is grades seven and eight. And then there's TC Robertson High School. And if you look this up on the old Google, you will see the school ratings for this area and they're pretty high. So TC Robertson High School is part of the Buncombe County School District and it's grades nine through 12 and it's located right close to here. Um, yeah, not far at all. So it's wonderfully convenient. We get calls and texts all the time from people who are just like you, thinking about moving to the area and we absolutely love it. We have a whole team lined up to help you do that, whether you're nine days or 90 days out from your move. Let us help you explore the journey and create a personalized plan for you. And if you just want to learn more about Asheville in general, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. That way you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. I hope you've enjoyed Biltmore Park as much as I have. I love that neighborhood. There's so many wonderful things uh, that it offers and let's stay in touch until then. Ciao for now.